Have you faced a Verizon SIM card not working error on your phone? If so then this video guide will show you how to fix Verizon SIM card not working problem and make it work again. So let's go ahead. But before going to the fixes, don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Method 1. Restart your Android device. Restarting your phone can help to fix the error. Follow the steps, press and hold power button, tap on power on slash off. Now again press and hold the power button for a few seconds and your device will restart. Method 2. Check your phone SIM card. Here is how to do so. First, turn off your phone. Then, remove the SIM tray using the ejector tool. After that, remove the card and check if there is any kind of damage. Once you review the SIM, reinsert it gently. Method 3. Check for proper coverage. One of the main things to come across as such an error is when you don't receive a stable network connection. There can be several reasons for not getting a network at your place. Therefore, it's suggested to check every time for stable coverage especially when you are in a rural area. Method 4. Clean your Verizon SIM from dust. Your SIM card gathers lots of dust or dirt on its surface. Due to this, somewhere your SIM stops working and displays the error. So you should remove the SIM card and then clean it with a cotton cloth. Method 5. Verify SIM activation. You should properly check if your SIM card is activated or not. This kind of issue generally occurs to many users as they forget to activate their SIM. If you don't activate your Verizon SIM, you cannot use it. Method 6. Clear your device cache. Follow the steps. First, launch settings on your device. Now, click on storage settings. Then, tap on internal storage. Finally, click on the cache date option and tap on the delete option. Method 7. Check device compatibility with Verizon SIM. Whenever you face a SIM card not working slash showing an error on an Android phone then you should check if your device is compatible or not. Don't forget that your device should have Verizon enabled. Method 8. Remove battery and SIM card. Removing device battery and SIM card can resolve such types of issues and it's highly suggested. Simply, switch off your phone. Remove the battery and SIM card. Then, wait for 60 seconds and reinsert them. Method 9. Check your location. The issue may be due to a location problem as you are not getting it properly. You should avoid activating a new SIM card on elevators, radioactive appliances, or basements as you may not get the proper network. Method 10. Verify if SIM card is listed or not. Follow the steps. First, dial star 228 from your phone. Now, select one option. At last, you have to wait unless you get the confirmation that your Verizon SIM card is listed on the carrier network. Method 11. Factory reset your phone. Follow the steps. First, open settings on your phone. Now, select general management and then on reset. After that, Choose Factory Data Reset from the options.